What if I told you that Google has quietly published the blueprint to their algorithm over the last 20 years in plain sight? I'm talking about patents, thousands of them. And instead of guessing how SEO works, we trained an AI model to read all 9,500 of them. And now I'm sharing what we learned and how it's changing the way we do SEO forever. Okay, first things first, why bother reading patents? because patents are legal documentation of what Google intends to do with its algorithms. They're not press releases, they're not fluff, they're engineering-driven claims backed by math. Now, most SEOs don't read them because they're dense, technical, and full of jargon, but that's also why they're gold. They show us what Google might be factoring into ranking decisions, how they're designing search systems behind the scenes, and what they're prioritizing for future updates. So obviously, instead of reading all 9,500 patents manually, we fed them into GPT, created a model called Patent Brain, and trained it to surface patterns and ranking logic buried in the text. And that's when things got wild. The first big insight? Google is no longer thinking in keywords, it's thinking in vectors. Instead of matching exact terms, it's measuring semantic relationships between concepts, across entire websites. This is where the idea of semantic distance and site topicality comes in. Google groups your site's content into a vector space, a kind of 3D map where closely related topics cluster together. The tighter and more consistent your topical cluster, the more focused and authoritative you appear in that space. They even quantify this with metrics like site radius, how far your content strays from its core topic, site focus score, how tightly your content clusters around that topic, site embeddings, the vectorized representation of your domain. And these aren't just made up metrics. They show up in Google's patents and internal documentation leaks. Let me give you an example. We worked with a massive online gambling site that had published tons of off-topic content, crypto, fintech, even random health stuff, and it just scattered their topical radius. We visualized their topical clusters using HDBS scan and vector mapping, and the result, a polluted, unfocused content graph. Then we pruned the irrelevant content and deleted hundreds of pages. And guess what? Rankings jumped, their topical radius shrank, their focus score rose, and Google started trusting them again for their core keywords. We also started benchmarking competitors. Example, two wellness brands, Mud Water and Everyday Dose. Everyday Dose had more content within the core topical cluster. Same niche, but deeper coverage and denser focus. Result? It consistently outranked Mud Water, despite similar authority scores. This is how Google measures topical depth, not just how much you write, but how closely it relates to each other and to the category itself. And with the help of patent brain and custom-built visualizations, we can literally see that relationship. It's not guesswork anymore. So what do you do with this? Stop writing random blog posts just to hit keywords. Start building cohesive, dense topic clusters. Measure your semantic footprint, not just backlinks or DR. And if your site's off topic, don't be afraid to prune. It works. Patents are revealing the direction Google is heading. And now with AI, we finally have a way to decode them at scale. This is just part one of what we learned. In the next video, I'll show you how we took this research and ran correlation studies across 57,000 search results and proved which SEO signals actually move rankings. Spoiler, it's not what most tools are telling you. Subscribe if you wanna stay 10 steps ahead of everyone else doing 2015 SEO in a 2025 world.